Hey, cup holder people. Not road rage. Nope, not road rage. Stupid people rage. Today is Sunday, November 4th, 2018. I am driving to work and stupid people are pissing me off. Grr. Like, I don't know, turn on a signal light and go to change lanes and realize that there's somebody right there. Like maybe look, slow down, speed up, you know, whatever. So you're not about to drive me off the road. Just an idea. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> so it's Sunday, but that makes it my Friday, which is cool. Uh, when I left home, uh, my son was making a cardboard giraffe out of stuff from the recycle bin. <laughs> and the old lady was playing Fallout 76 the beta. Having fun too from the looks of it. It's my fault. I got her to create a character. She'll like it. She'll play the game. I know she will. And she'll explore stuff. So when I go to find a certain place, I'll be, hey honey, I'm looking for this place. Oh, it's over there. Because she'll get all the markers. Makes life easier. <sighs> I'm trying to decompress and not be all worked up and grrr before I get to work because Mr. Q at my work, he, it's the one client, he is going to be annoying because he loves to be annoying. And lately him being annoying, normally him being annoying is not a big deal, doesn't bother me. But lately him being annoying is just getting on my nerves. It's like... His sole goal in life is to piss me off lately. Ask him to do something and I'll do it when I want to do it. Well, okay, I'm asking nicely. And, you know, he just has his head up his ass and he's being a grouch about it for no apparent reason. I don't know. Something's bugging him. I don't know what it is and he won't talk to me, which bothers me because I'm usually good at getting him to talk to me. And, you know, I'm his buddy. He's my buddy. We talk. We vent to one another, you know? That's the way that's the way it works. And not being able to help him and have him, you know, be deliberately treat me like shit and not care that he's treating me like shit is not normal for him. And the fact that he's doing it is really getting on my nerves. It's just it's not like him. We have a, you know, I tease and bug you, you tease and bug me kind of, you know, deal that we got. That's our, uh, that's our vibe. That's, you know, that's how we roll between the two of us. Two buddies just busting each other's, each other's balls, you know, really. The adult humor that I use on him really messes him up. It's funny, it's hilarious, I love it. Eventually he'll be scarred for life, but I'm working on it. <sighs> I don't know. I got the permanent line at work, well, the permanent part-time at work, so I've got my job security. I know I'm getting a set number of hours. I know I'm making a set number of uh, set wage. I know I got an income I can count on, get a few extra hours here and there to round it up and make it a little bit better, but I know I'm stable and I'm deep compressing, which is great, but the problem is everything else is, I didn't realize how stressed it was because it's starting to stress me out. How stressed I was, if that makes sense. So, this one probably won't get loaded for about a week or two, so, oh well. I'm still working on editing and working on some from the Penticton trip. Later. <laughs>